uh, I'm really, really pleased with the results of the Novavax trials that were released last night. They show that uh, we have another very effective vaccine um, that is coming. Hopefully regulatory approval will follow soon. And importantly, the vaccine seems to work particularly well against the, the Kent variant that has been so prevalent in the UK. So that is very good news. Novavax definitely works against the UK strain. So its efficacy is around 85% for the, the new strain, which is more infectious and possibly more lethal as well. And its efficacy against the more traditional strain was 95%. So it compares very favorably with the approved vaccines that are available already from AstraZeneca and Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna. It, but we now know for the first time that it works very well against the more infectious UK strain. And because there is a, another separate trial in South Africa uh, where there is a particularly worrying variant that it was believed to possibly be immune to the existing vaccines. Novavax, Novavax works well, 60% uh, efficacy there, which might sound relatively disappointing, but it, it really shouldn't be. Anything above 50% is fantastic and should stop health services getting swamped. So that bit is very good news as well. And you're right, the more vaccines we have, the better, because there are production issues that have been well publicized, but also because the vaccines work slightly differently. So Novavax is, uh, works from a more traditional route than the mRNA vaccines like, like Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna or using novel uh, uh, vaccines, inactivated um, viruses, I, I should say, like, like the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. So this is a more traditional protein-based um, vaccine and that it works so well is really, really good news. And tell us what your role has been uh, in the investigation uh, to date. Yes, yeah, so I was asked to take a lead for the Novavax vaccine trial, uh, the phase three trial in Scotland initially. Um, and I, I've been a researcher for 10, 15 years, so I'm a doctor, but I spend about 30, 40% of my time undertaking uh, clinical trials and other forms of research, mostly in older people. Now, because COVID has really taken over the NHS, a lot of the my usual research uh, has been paused. So I had some opportunity to get involved with COVID research, particularly because a lot of my clinical work has become very COVID focused as well. But also because Moderna was planning in the summer of last year to undertake a randomized clinical trial specifically in older people and people in care homes. So uh, I was specifically asked to take on planning for that. Moderna then changed their mind and decided there wasn't enough COVID in the UK, ironically, and, and only ran the trial in the US. But by this time, there'd been so much planning and uh, I'd um, become so involved with running vaccine trials on a, on a national basis for, for Scotland that um, I remained involved. So the opportunity to take on Novavax uh, came, came along and we grasped it with two hands because uh, if you remember back the situation in the summer, still now, I guess, people are desperate, desperate to get out of the situation. It's just not nice for anyone. So I think everyone's been so willing to do whatever they could. So my role was to help uh, test this vaccine and trial it in, in people. So I have a team of over 80 staff at the University of Aberdeen and NHS Grampian that have been running vaccine trials. And we recruited over 400 people for this trial from Aberdeen. And uh, we've got another site in Glasgow as well that's recruited another 600 uh, people. So the role is really one to organize that team, train them, make sure we deliver the protocol successfully, make sure we uh, get through all our volunteers in a timely manner and then follow them up. So we see them regularly, see if they have developed COVID or not. And yesterday was the first time that we have sufficient cases of COVID-19 
to be able to issue a, a press release and to show that the vaccine is effective. So very good news. You said that you're based in Aberdeen at the moment. We can see the Rock of Gibraltar pictured uh, behind you um, and we can detect uh, a, a specific Scottish accent in your in your R's, if you don't mind me saying, Dr. Soisa. Well, I've been told this before. I don't hear it. I still think I have a Gibraltarian accent, but I've been here, what, 25 years now and I was on the rock for 18. So maybe it's inevitable that I've picked up a bit of a, of a Scottish twang. But yes, I'm a very proud Gibraltarian. I'll tell everybody that I'm from Gibraltar, whether they want to hear it or not. I have been um, keeping up to date with what's happening in Gibraltar. still have a, a lot of family there, of course. So yes, I was sorry to hear there have been so many deaths, particularly in this second wave. Gibraltar was doing so, so well. And uh, the news more recently hasn't been so good, but I am heartened to, by the the more recent decline in figures, and I'm sure that uh, with the very impressive rollout of vaccine that there has been in the rock already, uh, I think happy happy days will be round the corner.